like. Well, that sounds like something else to me. Oh, and just leg side and whipped away. Fine. Four more. Poor bowling up front from Tanvir here. Yes, poor bowling, but really well played. Maneuvered around the corner. Watch this. I've seen some leg glances in my time, but that's a brilliant little flick to the leg side. How he's got it that far. Playing for one of the other franchises. He's a, an absolute belter. So is this bloke. <laughs> there we go. These are the reasons why. When all else fails, do something crazy. No pace, was it? Nicely bowled from Sahel Tanvir. Swing and a miss, league side. He's still got to play the ball in the right area and hold yeah. his shape. I mean, this is just a little bit agricultural, isn't it? Well, that's why he's one of my favourite players. He's truly maverick. When his plans come off, they look absolutely amazing. But when he's presented with two options, an 80% chance of success, but fairly boring, or a 10% chance success, but absolutely spectacular, he always goes for the latter. I like that. You can only carry one of those players per team, I think, as a coach or a captain. Oh, another leg side one. It's the Yorker, and it should be a leg by. I think it's going down leg. Angle's too wide. This one's high in the air. Who wants it? Somebody? Get in, get in, get in. Oh, dear. Goodness me, missed the starting gates. Gates opened. He just stood there. No opportunity at all. Need to get off the fence quicker than that. Yeah, Hafiz just picks it up. Obviously doesn't get it out the screws. Straight up in the air. From our position, we had the, uh, the best view. Shajil just didn't have a clue where that ball was at first. He's not the lie this individual either, so he couldn't get the streamlining to cut through the air to catch that one. Single off the last ball of the over. Entertainment. Two overs gone. 19 without loss. Some beer. Oh, he's got hold of this one as the professor. That is a sweet, sweet strike. Well, could he be the Dream 11 game changer of the match? Tries to catch it. And gone. Looking for another six. He was looking for a half century. Shajil in the deep takes a comfortable catch now. Yeah, he's a little bit disappointed that he got this square up than what he wanted. He was trying to go similar position, almost bisect those fielders. Wasn't trying to keep it along the ground because he really wanted to try. Hafiz goes for 44 off 26. It's 90. It's Moussa. He's uh, given it some Humpty, and he has. First ball through extra. There's another boundary. Humpty, OK. A bit of English for you there. Yeah, right. No, really good shot. It was a good one from a, a batting perspective. It was wide, outside off stump. No footwork, but... Gone to the moon. Who is under this? Yes, Tommy. Benton had to wait an age. That had snow it. covered in it. That is a very good catch and a very clear ceiling. Oh. Well, what an over. Six, wicket, four, wicket. Yeah, and that certainly went high. Banton, he absolutely prepared himself for this. He got into the right position. The hang time must have been at least over five seconds. Yeah, looked comfortable, didn't he? Very comfortable. Mukhtar Ali goes for four. The Arabians are 97 for four. Sahail. Tanvir. Oh, has he taken this? Banton with a beauty. That was going like a Polaris missile. They're going to just have a look upstairs to make sure, but I tell you what, this was whistling Dixie all the way out to Tommy Banton. He's done well, hasn't he? It's almost like it's training and he's just getting catches, game, you know, ball after ball, nice and low. Yeah, he takes it really well. Last ball of the innings. Oh, 
cheeky little reversey, if you please. Wow. He's gone for four. He's on a hand trick, wouldn't he? Wakey, wakey, it's out of control. <laughs> the Arabians do bring up three figures. 101 for five in the end.